For a Generation 1 Transformers review, yes. Um, yes. G1 Prowl. Look at him. Look at him there. Nice police car. A um, Nissan Fair Lady um, Z, I believe. Now, the reason why I'm doing this guy is I've just literally, about 10 minutes ago, watched um, Graham the Collect 75's G1 uh, Blue Streak video. And um, it's kind of... Exp He's kind of lit the fire to review more G1 because he said in his video, um, does anybody do G1 toys anymore? Does anybody display them? And I do. I've got a huge shelf full there. Um, well, it's in a bit of a disarray at the minute. I'm just moving things around. I keep saying that. I fucking they've been there for eight months. Uh, well, no, no, nearly a year now. I think then. Um, yeah, so moving around and, and it doesn't look like I've done stuff, but I have behind the scenes there, I have. Um, so yeah, and Graham, um, I'll put a link, if you've never seen him before, I'll put a link in my description of his channel, and he does some good stuff, and he's got some, like, proper fucking rare stuff, G1 stuff, um, so... I'll put a link to his channel in my in, in the description. I will remember this time as well. Anyway, sorry for the BG there, but there you go. Um, to housekeeping now. Now onto the BG. Prowl. He is. Um, what's his What's his job? He's obviously an Autobot, and he is a um, military strategist. And tech specs. Ah, logic is the ultimate weapon. Um, so he's a Vulcan. Prowl will keep his. Keep at his task for as long as it takes. Strives to find reason and logic in everything. A listener, not a talker. Has most sophisticated logic centre of all the Autobots. Able to analyse and devise a complex combat situations almost instantaneously. Fires wire-guided missiles, high corrosive acid pellets. The unsuspected can... Oh, the unexpected can often scramble his circuits. Mm. So... Yes... This is the reissue, by the way. It's not an original. This is a reissue, but it's covered in dust. <laughs> That's the reason. One of, one of the reasons why I'm moving my collection around is um, they need dusting. Um, actually, I'll do a video about that there. Yes, you'll notice on the front there. I've put his Autobot badge here. Now every everybody puts it on this side here, um, but I'm a G1 cartoon guy. And it's in the middle in the cartoon. That's where I've put it. I've also put one there as well. Because, you know, all the G1 um, cars have a stick, uh, an Autobot insignia on the back window there. So, and he is no different, all of them. Except for Jazz, if I remember rightly. He's the only one that doesn't. Uh, but anyway, I, I am digressing again. So, yeah, there he is. He is a, like I say, he's a um, Nissan or Datsun Fair Lady Z. Um, I need the masterpiece version of him. I haven't got one yet, but this is exactly the same mold as Blue Streak, um, except he's got the the cherry lights on top, and it's just a it's just a highway patrol, uh, police highway patrol on on the side there. But you'll notice that he's actually styled after a Japanese police car, um, with the 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 black lip on the front, the white, the black, um, and the red cherry lights, um. But no bad thing, no bad thing. Got some nice details, nice sticker detail on the back there. Got some police, got highway patrol, police highway patrol there. And he's got like a stylized sort of police badge there. So basically this guy would be out on, on the highway, you know, um, highway patrol. Um, obviously it, is a die, it used to be a die clone. Um, these moulds are getting to be like nearly 40 years old, these these guys. This mould. Um... 30, definitely 30 for Transformers, but yeah, nearly 40 years old. Um, yeah, you should be able to put a, uh, a Diaclone guy inside there, and he would drive it into battle and stuff. But anyway, this is Prowl, not Diaclone. So yeah, there it is, very cool. Now to transform it, it 
is, I mean, it's made of die cast and plastic, and still to this day, I think these these are the best Transformers they've done, apart from Masterpiece, obviously. But, I mean, if you're talking sort of normal, I mean, Masterpiece for collectors, but for normal, actual, you know, uh, Transformer toys, G1, the first few years of G1 are yet to be bettered, I think. Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion, you know. Um... Feel free to agree with me or not. Anyway, um, there he is in vehicle mode. I'll just transform him. To transform him, you open his doors. Um, so he's got functioning doors. Quite a simplistic transformation. You then pull his legs down and then you twist. Oh no, you don't. You pull this section up his crotch basically. Pull his crotch up, rotate him round, and then we separate his legs a little bit. Do we? Or do we just turn them down? I haven't done it, transform this guy in a, while, in a while. Oh, there we go. Pull it down like that, then separate his legs, and they should stabilise and lock into position, which they have. And unfortunately, uh, I've just noticed that that sticker has been pulled off, which is a bit of a shame. I'm really annoyed about that. I have to get some repo labels for this fella. Um, and then you pull that back down there, and then it locks his torso to his legs. And then we get his arms, and then we just take them out, like so. So you just, they're on pegs like that, so you hold on to his shoulders, the opposite shoulder. So then you undo those, and then we take them out, like so, and like so. And then we rotate this whole section forward, and then these are often broken off as in original ones, because it's all one piece. Um... Like I said, this is the reissue. And then he's got the rubber symbol there. Um, and then we put it down to reveal his bonds. And then we just kind of rotate everything into place like so. And there he is in robot mode. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Also as well, Prowl, Prowl's head, is the basis for the Autobot symbol. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is the basis for the Autobot symbol. Um, you can see that his, his horns there are not unlike the these sections on the Autobot symbol there. Um, as the Decepticon is Soundwave space. So there you go. Um, it does come with his wire guided missiles. Now, like I said, these are this is the re reissue, and originally these were silver. Um, but, and these could fire. You press the button there. There'd be a button in there. Or is it there? And they'd fire out, but unfortunately they don't. They just pull out. So, you know. And he's got little ports on the side of his head. And we connect them. Well, you see, I'm a G1 cartoon guy, and that's how he appeared in the cartoon. Um, oh, his legs haven't come out like that. And that's how he appears in the cartoon. But, for the toy, you get... These that connect to his head, or rather, they are supposed to be from his shoulders, because there's shoulder cannons, but they actually connect to his head. There we go. So he's got, you know, armed up. And then you get a gun. Again, originally this was chrome, um, but it's just black. And I kind of like the black gun, actually. Drops on the floor. Brilliant. And it has vanished into the ether. Uh, found it. So then you give him his gun. Like so. And he fires acid pellets. Now this is the thing about G1. I'm going to have a little digress again. Before I go on to the articulation. Um, G1. Every one of these guys had a character. And that's why I do the tech specs and that. Whenever I do a uh, video, um, they also had powers and abilities. Now, this fella was he's logical like a Vulcan, but he's also got weapons like wire guided missiles. Uh, what wire guided missiles is, they shoot out a wire and then they fly across it, like say, wire guided. Um, and then he's got his gun shoots acid pellets, which I think you only ever mentioned twice in the cartoon series, if I remember rightly. You don't get that now. You don't get tech specs now on toys, on Transformers. 
it's here's a Decepticon and he hates all the Autobots, and that's usually your limit, and but that's in like seventeen thousand languages. Um, and it's a bit of a shame. It's a, it's a dying art. None of them made with diecast metal anymore, um, because all this section here is all diecast, and it's rather lovely. Um, so yeah, that's just my little you know rant about the situation. And Decepticons don't steal energon cubes anymore. Don't make energon cubes. What's that about? Um, so he will rotate. Sort of, he technically can, can rotate 360 at the shoulder, but he's hindered by all this kibble. He will bend at the elbow, and he will rotate at the wrist. And if you lift his crotch up, he can rotate at the waist a little bit as well. Well, he can, because that's part of the transformation. So you can have a bit of a waist articulation. But he has rude mode. Rude mode. Yes. Rude mode. So there, there is G1 Prowl. Um, I love G1. Anybody who knows me is, you know, I love G1. I think it's, it's the best iteration of Transformers. Um, it's the silliest. It has some of the silliest gimmicks in there, i.e. Power Masters, Head Masters, Pretenders, you know, Action Masters, uh, Light Formers, and all the rest of it. Um, but... That's what. But that's the charm of G One because of the eightiesness about it, and because of the weirdness about it. It, all that stuff is great. I love it. I'll lap that up, you know. And like I say, the personalities for each of these guys is just fantastic. I mean, you know, I mean, look at the face on the on on Prowl there. I don't know if it's going to focus in. It's got a lovely little face. Um, but these these gr these are great to stand on a shelf. G One. G1 toys, um, and th it's just a great little figure, you know, very basic in articulation, I mean, don't forget, these moulds are f nearly 40 years old, um, and, you know, back in the day, we didn't, need, we didn't need articulation, you know, our imaginations filled in the blanks, because as good as articulation is, you know, I can put him down and he stands up without having to fiddle with his legs and stuff like that I mean you can only put cool poses in him and stuff like that um, because mostly when you were a kid he's like oh Prowl Optimus let's go this way come on come on let's go you know that's how you'd play you know and go pachoo, 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 and then transform and drive around and, and then fly around because all oh, bots could fly in the first episode um, but you know bit of a nostalgia kick um, because that's what my collection is going to uh, gonna be now he's going to be mostly G1s and Masterpiece, sorry, I'm digressing, sorry, um, I'm talking about Prowl here, but there's not a lot to be said really, um, it's a G1 toy, there's not, a lot, there's no articulation apart from in the arms, he, um, this is a reissue, um, and he looks great, um, and I've got sticker wear, which I need to get repo levels from, he's incredibly dusty, and, and I can feel it, I'm going to sneeze, because I'm a little bit allergic to dust, I think, um, whenever there's dust in the air, whenever I've been dusting, I've, you know, I've said dust far too many times there. Um, I like to just uh, up his shoulders there a bit. So I will hope you like this re this mini review of of, of uh, G1 Prowl there. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and um, thanks for watching. And I will catch you all later. Bye for now.